Hey guys, for today I wanted to show you a, um, a way that you can test to see if a parameter was filled out in a, uh, a PowerShell function. So I have a, a function here called get something, just a, a little function with a single parameter um, called my param. Now, maybe I have an instance in my uh, a function here to where I want to see that um, it was passed. So let's say, let's take out this mandatory parameter altogether. And then um, let's just do a write host here of my param. Let's load it into memory here. And then let's run get something. And you see that it doesn't return anything at all. <clears throat> Obviously, that's because the um, parameter wasn't filled out. Now, maybe I want to see if it was. I want to check. So I want to put some logic in there to see if I can do that or not. One way I can do that is just do a simple if statement. So I can do if my param, and if I don't put anything in there, I just put the variable name. What that does is that just that just checks to see if it's not null. So I'll put an else in here just to see, make sure we get some kind of output. So I'll say the parameter was not passed. Okay. So I'll load that new function up there, run it again, and the parameter was not passed. Great. Okay. Now let's do my param something. And see that it returns something. That's because this condition statement caught it and we saw um, this command here. However, this is a, a one way to do it. Um, you could also do another way, which I prefer doing, which is a little bit more specific. With this, we, we're not actually saying that did this come from the parameter input at all. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have a parameter up here called my param. Let's say I set a parameter down here, not from parameter input. So I just define a variable down here inside of the function. I run this the command again, and we'll see that I did not get the value of what the um, um, what the parameter value was that was input. Um, so this is not as specific as what it can be. So let me show you a better way to do this to see if we can find out the value specifically from the um, um, parameter here. So I'm going to keep this in here just to prove a point. Now, every function has a, an automatic variable called PS bound parameters. And PS bound parameters is a, a technically a dictionary um, object that has all of the parameters that have been passed a certain value. And since it is a dictionary, it contain, has this contains key method here. And what we can do is we can say if it contains the key of my param, then do this. All right. So now this is exactly the same as what it was before, the logic. Instead of just the variable name, we're actually saying if the PS bound parameter, so if a parameter up here contains the key of my param, so if it contains the key of this, then go ahead and show it. So let's try that. Okay, you'll see that, again, it only gave you the value of the variable that I defined up here. I did, it did not give me the um, parameter value again. Why? Well, it's because I'm just giving the um, I'm just writing out the host of the my param value. Now, a, a better way to do this would be to do ps bound parameters dot my param. Now let's try that one. Now you'll see that it was more specific. I didn't. I don't care what the val what the variable of my param is. I'm actually referencing the value that was brought in as uh, my param from the parameter value. So it gives you a much more specific way to uh, to check for the, the the contents, check for the parameter if it was there at all, and also to to use the parameter from the um, uh, uh, from the parameter input. 
Now, one thing about this is that trips up some people is default values and parameters. So let's say I have a default value here and, and I try this again. Okay, I'm not going to pass one, so I have a default. You see that it does say the parameter is not passed because it doesn't contain the key. However, let's go, let's take this out. Oh, this is a good point here. I didn't even think about this. This is a good point because this says this parameter was not passed. You may think, well, I have a variable. I have the, uh, the variable up here. I have my param and I have the value of this is default. Well, it should be my param should be um, have a value of this is default. Why does it say the parameter is not passed? Well, that's because this PS bound parameters, the, when a function gets called, it goes through a parameter binding process. And as part of that process, um, whenever you set a parameter by default here, it doesn't, it's not part of that parameter binding process, so it doesn't see it. So if you, if you want to define what the value is um, up here with the default, you still unfortunately have to do the, um, uh, the traditional, you know, if my param at that time. So that the PS bound parameter trick I just showed you is only for um, parameters that get passed uh, explicitly through the function. They aren't um, default functions. So that's it for the day for today's video. Um, hope I got to show you a few things that you weren't aware of and I uh, hope you got to learn a few things.